Hello friends, Anku Bansal this side and uh, today I will continue our previous topic that is the brief introduction or the basic introduction about the subject process dynamics and control. So in the last lecture we discussed about uh, the importance of the subject, we discussed about the modeling and simulation and we realized that if we follow the previous method that is a lab scale method that will be time taking, that will be lengthy, that will be money taking and ultimately not error free. While the method of modeling and simulation ultimately it's just on the computer so as such no fixed capital, there is no such need of a pilot plant, there is such no such need of an experiment. You just need to prepare a model and after preparing the model change the input that means change the data point and you will get the change in the output. You collect all those data points and then you multiply all those data points with the cost and ultimately the point at which the cost is minimum and the profit is maximum that becomes the optimal point. So that is all the need of this. Today we will discuss about the meaning of the subject. Now process dynamics. So what do you guys think? What is the meaning of the subject? Think about it. Yeah. Process dynamics. So you guys have many of the definitions in your mind. And if we understand the process dynamics, the definition is very, very simple. It's about knowing the behavior. Yes, that is a definition. Very, very simple definition. Knowing the behavior. Let us take a very simple example. Very simple example. Um, let's say um, you need something. That we all need something at our childhoods and mostly of us belongs to middle family. So we'll not get all the things easily. Anna? We'll not get all the things easily. So what we do let's say for an example we went to home and uh, in front of our dad we request something but there is a different way of requesting altogether it depends upon the mood of the father uh, whether he is happy or whether he is little bit angry whether he is little bit sad so depending upon the mood will serve the food at that time will keep quiet like an adult child we will give the TV remote to Papa. Papa, you can watch. We will behave like an adult child. And uh, then out of the curiosity, father asked, what do you require? I will say, Papa, I require that thing. And then there is a high probability that father agrees. So you know how to get things done at your end in front of your father. It's very easy for you to deal with your father to get things done. But let's say in the same scenario, I take an example of an unknown person. You want to take something and you want to convince an unknown person for that. Then what is the probability to convince that unknown person for that thing? Very difficult. Why? Because you don't know the behavior of that person. It's very very difficult. But in case of your father, you know the behavior of your father. How your father behaves. So that is the basic difference. That if we request in front of someone whom we know, let's say our father, and if we request in front of someone whom we don't know which means an unknown person there is a difference in this case there is high probability of getting the things done things done but in this case there is very less probability of getting the things done or almost the things done is impossible very less and very high. So what do you think? 
where is the main difference the main difference lies in knowing the behavior means if you know the behavior of some person it is very easy to get the things done but if you don't know the behavior of some person then it becomes very difficult to get the things done so ultimately to get uh, the things done what you require is what you require is to know the behavior of the person now same thing happens in our chemical process industries there are many equipments like pumps what are else distillation columns any more yes absorption columns or as yes, cooling towers very good more extraction columns yes and so on the many things and from all those equipments i want high efficiencies high efficiencies that means we want to get our things done from all these equipments now if we want to get our things done from all these equipments what we need to know is is the behavior of those equipments if we know them all if we know them well then it's very easy for us to obtain the highest efficiency possible so process dynamics is about the study of this thing study of the behavior of the equipment so what is process dynamics process dynamics is the study of the behavior of the equipment and if we know the behavior of the equipment then it's very easy to get the things done so that is very very simple definition of process dynamics and in your daily life you can implement this suppose in school or college you want to propose a girl without knowing about the behavior without knowing the name without knowing anything if you go and propose there are high chances of a rejection but if you follow the process completely if you know that girl completely if you know the likes and the dislikes completely then the chances of getting a yes increases that is process dynamics knowing the behavior of someone knowing the behavior of the equipment so this rule applies everywhere that means process dynamics applies everywhere similarly in the classes also teacher gets to know the students students gets to know the teacher and if they both know each other then it is very easy for them to take the knowledge and it's very easy for the teacher to provide the knowledge because they know each other well so knowing someone or knowing the behavior of someone is related to process dynamics now it is done how it is done so knowing the behavior to know the behavior what we need to do first of all we need to select an object or a process or you can say a system let's say this is a system and i want to know the behavior of this system so what will we do generally there are some inputs given to the system and there are some defined outputs from the system let's say we are two friends we talk to each other let's say i talk to someone and someone gave me a defined response that i know now if i want to know the behavior of that person what i need to do is change my inputs change my talks if i change my inputs then the system process this inputs and it gives the change in outputs randomly you give a for example let's say let's take a person whose life is going on well but uh, during the journey of life let's say there is any challenge comes then what is the reaction of that person 
against that challenge if that challenge doesn't bothers that person that's a behavior and if that challenge bothers the person that's a different behavior so to know the behavior what we need to do is to change the input because one kind of input gives one kind of output and that one kind of output will not give us any clue about the behavior so to get the clue about the behavior we need to change our inputs which in turn changes the outputs and the study of both is known as process dynamics so it is defined as the study of changes in outputs with respect to the changes in inputs this is known as process dynamics and this line is actually the definition of behavior then if someone asks how to calculate the behavior then in simple sense change your out inputs you will get change in outputs and from that you can determine the behavior of the equipment so that is the basic introduction about the process dynamics thank you